You're, you're obviously aware that this bike, sked, bike shed scandal has brought uh, the House of the Oireachtas, the OPW, and the public services into disrepute. Um, people can't understand how a bike shed could cost the same as a house. Uh, and I actually can't think of any good explanation how a bike shed would cost more than a house. And I'm still really not clear, after all the discussion we've had, how we have a bike shed that costs more than a house. Like, I see the costings here. And it, it, it just doesn't make sense to me. After, what, two hours of discussion, I cannot understand how the bike shed that you look at out there, that has, has been pointed out, is open to the elements. So it's not even clear it will keep bicycles dry. And I'm not being glib, but that's what somebody in my office who actually cycles a bicycle said and isn't using that bike shed, I hasten to add, that it may not even protect the bicycles from the rain. So it's quite an extraordinary situation which uh, actually brings far bigger issues into disrepute. Uh, so it's not, it's, a, it's symbolic uh, of a lot of things for the public out there about how their money would be misused, misspent uh, at such an extraordinary level. Now, what I would certainly like to see a more detailed breakdown of this. But I kind of think what you seem to be saying is we understand where these costs come from, but I'm not sure if it was value for money. I don't understand where these costs come from. And so I want to see the more detailed breakdown. Because, I mean, I, I've seen the breakdown of, uh, I think by the Royal Chartered Surveyors, or whatever they're called, Quantity Surveyors, on the construction of a house. And there's different elements to it. And that figure for the sort of actual construction costs of a house, the one two, one is about the construction cost of a house. And then you have all these other things as well. So... Maybe you can elaborate a bit more, or maybe you can provide us with more detail. But I think the public will, will find all of this hard to understand unless somebody explains how on earth it could have been approved to spend as much money on a bike shed as on a house. So that's the first thing. Secondly, it is being reported as we speak that uh, you proposed, or the OPW proposed, the area beside or near to the members bar on, I think, what you called, refer to as the West Road. Is that right? Uh, is that the area just under the members' restaurant? Sorry, the members' restaurant. Just under the members' restaurant. I don't see why you wouldn't have put it there. To be absolutely honest, I cannot understand why it wouldn't have been put there. And security concerns have been cited. But should this, I, I don't see what additional security burden would have been put because there's, a, there's still a security gate between that and Leinster House itself <coughs> uh, beyond uh, that area. So I don't kind of see what the security concerns were. But can we just clarify, or can you tell us, first of all, do you know how much less that would have cost? And do you still, would you still be of the view that that is the option that we should have gone with? And who precisely sort of made that decision? No, that the option that you had initially proposed was not acceptable and that we had to go for the option that has turned out to be much more expensive and the cost of a house. And did having the Houses of uh, Oireachtas Commission refused your initial suggestion, uh, 
did, did they not, was there not some requirement when you had to go and sort of get the, uh, ascertain the cost of the new location that they wanted, was there not some requirement, obligation, request for the new cost to come back and for them to sign off on it? Because I just can't understand how that wouldn't be the case. Thank you, Deputy. Um, in relation to your first comments, I think in my opening comments and what I said, I do acknowledge um, that the cost of this was not acceptable in the context of value for money and the value for the taxpayer. I have acknowledged it's an extraordinary cost, so I do reflect on your comments on that very, very seriously. In relation to your comment on the, our suggestion that it be located in that West Road, um, that was an option we put forward to the House of Directors Commission. As I understand it, um, in relation to the security issue raised, they were, they, they were raised by Angarda Shikana, um, and that was taken on board in terms of moving away from that as a preferred location. I have to say I'm baffled as somebody who walks from Ag House into Leinster House mm -hmm. every single day, why that wouldn't be a perfectly suitable location. Because well, it, it is the location we put forward initially. Let's be frank. And can you tell us, yeah. the, uh, can you give us even a rough idea of what the difference in cost between that original suggestion, which was... What? You could have been the security. Maybe I was the security. Yes, right? <laughs> the, the cost effective, it's been described in the media at the moment as a more cost effective uh, proposal. Have we any idea how much more cost effective? Thank you effective? for your firm figure, but deputy, it would be far, far lower. Far, far lower. Yeah. And then, when that option was refused, and the, what turned out to be a far more expensive option was decided upon, was there not a, a requirement for the, the costing of the new location to come back to the Houses of the Rock to com Commission to say, well, the option you've chosen has turned out to be much, much more expensive. Are you sure you want to go ahead with this? I mean, that, that, that's... <laughs> strikes me as something that should obviously have happened. I don't kind of understand how it wouldn't have happened. I totally agree with the point you've just made, Deputy, that it should have been related back to the House of Directors Commission. It wasn't. And that's one of the reasons why I'm insisting now that on all elective works that the OPW do on behalf of the House of Directors Commission, that they're fully informed at the monthly meetings. I find it very hard to understand, and I said this twice during this committee meeting so far, as to why those costs weren't relayed back. Um, and do, so so what, what indication was the Houses of the Rockers Commission given? Once they said, right, we're rejecting your option, your proposal, which would have been a fraction of the cost, you seem to be indicating, we're going for something else, were they even told it's likely to be much more expensive? I understand that during some of the meetings of the Houses of Rockers Commission, they were told it would have been far more costly, but there was no specific figures given, that's my understanding. It would be, but they were told it would be far more, uh, be more costly. Co more costly, yes. And that was the end of it. Just go and do it regardless of the and cost. Two minutes, then. What I'm making quite clear, Deputy, is that I want to be in a position going forward that the Houses of the Roxas Commission are fully informed of all costs of all elective projects. I find it very hard to explain and understand why was, that wasn't done before, to be very frank. Right. Um, it should oh. have been. I agree. It should, it should have been. And, I mean, is there, just lastly, is, you know, we've heard today in a different context uh, the, 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 the board for developing the National Children's Hospital accused the, the main contractor of trying to extract every single cent they possibly can out of the state. I mean, is there an element of that in, in all of this, given the absolutely extraordinary costs? Because these are all, because all of the people doing all of the work, whether they're this medium term group or outside contractors who are in it presumably to make a few bob, and everything was outsourced to commercial businesses out to make a few bob, and the consequence is, you know, yeah. this incredibly, shockingly expensive uh, bike shed. Mm. Um, I mean, are we looking into whether there was profiteering going on here? Were they just extracting every cent because they knew this was the public purse? And, well, sure, if it's the public purse, we can bump up the prices. I want to be quite clear on this, Deputy, if I may. 
they were given a scope of works to do. Um, they did it within the contract that we provided for the measure term contract. So I don't have any evidence whatsoever of profiteering. They did it. They were, did what they were asked to do within the scope given to them. The very last question then, but at some point before it was approved, somebody saw a cost estimate of what it was going to cost and that it was going to cost this extraordinary amount of money, that which would have been after July 2023 and before what, 2020, July 2024, is that yeah. somewhere in between there, somebody was given an estimate which detailed all of these costs and the total cost. And they just, that one individual signed off on that. Is that what happened? Or just Correct. So Correct, it would have been signed off by the development officer within, within the OPW throughout that period. The works would have commenced not in July, but in, um, in January of this year.